It's pretty evident no matter where you go around Smithville Lake, it is low, lower than it's been in about 20 years or so, two and a half feet below what's a normal water level. That's exactly why we're getting the tour right now with the Clay County Rangers here at Smithville Lake to explain what the problem is and what they're telling boaters to do whenever they come out to the lake. This is, this is one of the shallow points here. That Missouri I'm, State that Trooper Dan Edding has been patrolling Smithville Lake for four years and has never seen water this low. It's basically due to the drought conditions. It's causing the patrol and the Army Corps of Engineers to issue a stern warning to boaters. People are cutting across the points too shallow and they're running aground. Troopers say they've had more boat assist calls than ever before because of the dangerously low water levels. If you look over here, you can see that it's marked with buoys. These low water spots evident at the beaches too. Here's some bigger rocks up here. Angela Marinbloom and her daughter come here a few times a month. All summer, it's been really, the water level has been really low. Where the beaches seem to just be getting bigger. So you can walk across the cove and it might come up to your waist. With a pretty dry forecast, the lake is only expected to get lower, and troopers hope everyone will pay attention to their warnings. Just be prepared for anything. Just be more observant, more cautious. Well, the hope here on Smithville Lake is like the hope pretty much across Kansas and Missouri, a few good rains to bring this lake back up to normal levels. We're live on Smithville Lake tonight. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. Well, we absolutely need that rain. Well, there's also concern that revenues will go down at the lake. If people stop coming to the beaches because of the low water, the county won't have that revenue from daily fees.